Chapter 10 The Sorcerer The glory of Satyam was increasing day by day in Urvakonda Every day some people came to see me Unable to cope with the stream of visitors Seshama Raju wrote a letter to father that it was no longer possible to keep me with him He wrote It is not possible for us to keep him you may come immediately and take him away In those days it was very difficult for letters to reach from one place to another on a particular monday pedda venkama raju went to bukapatnam to purchase some provisions in the weekly fair he received seshama raju's letter there and straight from the fair he came to urvakonda by a bus poor man his pockets were empty by then he took some money from seshama raju for bus fare for both of us and started from urvakonda the bus service was up to bukapatnam only from there we had to reach puttaparthi by walk Pedda Venkama Raju held my hand and brought me to Puttaparthi on foot with great difficulty. Kondama Raju, the grandfather of this body, was eagerly awaiting our arrival. He had great faith in gods and goddesses. He told Venkama Raju, "Venkappa, don't reprimand this boy. His strange behavior appears to have a link with divinity. I will keep this boy with me for some time." So saying, He kept me along with him and looked after me very carefully. Only Venkamma, the elder sister of Swami, of all members of the family, was allowed to visit me daily in the morning and evening. She used to inquire, "Satya, do you get any dreams? Do you see anyone in your dreams?" But I used to divert the conversation to some other topic. I was not revealing anything to anybody. Some people commented, Satyam is possessed by a ghost. That is why his madness has increased so much. It is not possible for anyone to cure his disease. Yet another person suggested, there is a sorcerer in Kadri who can cure such diseases. You please take Satya to him. Then myself and Venkamma were seated in a bull cart and taken to Kadri. Venkamma was not used to leaving me alone even for a minute. The sorcerer was a big drunkard. He told our people, "A ghost has taken over this boy. I will drive it away." So saying, he beat me severely with a stick, causing injuries to my whole body. I did not give vent to my suffering. I bore it silently. Thereafter, he brought some kalikam, an eye salve that causes severe pain, and put it in my eyes. Immediately my eyes became red and swollen. He thought that I would submit to him not being able to bear the severe burning and pain in the eyes. But it did not happen. That day in the evening I told Venkamma to mix some cow dung in water and pour the mixture in my eyes. She did accordingly. The next day my eyes became normal and white. The sorcerer was frustrated that his efforts were failing. He wanted to make a last ditch effort to drive away the ghost from me. He got my hair shaved off completely and made two deep cuts on the scalp with a barber's knife. Blood started oozing out from the cuts profusely. Then he arranged to pour pots and pots of water on the bleeding cuts on the scalp from a height of about 10 feet. Thereafter he cut some lemons and started rubbing those pieces on my head. I did not succumb to this torture. Venkama, who was observing all this process, could not, however, contain her emotions. She arranged a bullock cart on that very night and brought me over to Puttaparthi. Subsequently, Seshama Raju took me again to Urvakonda and admitted me in the school as usual.